Hi, my name is Ashley Malone, and I'm the lead product marketing manager for Gmail. And I'm joined by my teammates Deanna Carey, lead UX researcher, and Kylie Poppin, lead designer. In this demo, we'll show you how Gmail brings together the core elements of work, like email, chat, voice, and video calling, to make them even more helpful. To do that, we'll walk through a scenario in which an entirely remote team is preparing for a customer meeting. I'll be acting as an account manager at a creative agency. And as with many projects, things kick off in email when I get a note from Jacob, a client I've worked with before. He's interested in doing another project together and has attached a creative brief. He wants to know if we can talk this Thursday and if I can pull together a project plan beforehand. I'm psyched and quickly check my availability in calendar before sending an invite to let him know we're on. Then I create a room to bring the right people for this project together in one place. I add Kylie, our faux agency's lead copywriter, as well as Samir, our principal strategist, and Deanna, the creative director who worked on the last project with this client. I tell the team the good news, share the brief, and ask everyone to take a look. Luckily, we have a team meeting in a few minutes, so I tell everyone we'll talk more live. And then I open an ongoing chat with my manager, Erica, to let her know we've got more revenue coming our way this quarter. I can see she's in a meeting, but decide to message her anyway, so she'll get the news as soon as she's done. Now it's time for our team meeting. So I tab over to meet and jump on the call right in Gmail. Meanwhile, I'm outside with my kids and I see the activity come through on my phone. I'm not gonna make it to the meeting, so I open the app to let the group know. A suggestion in chat makes it easy to message the meeting group directly, so I send a quick note and ask Ashley to add Matt, our favorite freelance illustrator, to the room. Back on the team call, we're co-editing the project plan doc I started live. I see Deanna's request come through chat and go to invite Matt, which adds an external tag to the room. Looking back at the doc, I see Samir and Kylie are finalizing what they can, but the doc still needs a few details from Deanna. So I go into our room's tasks tab and add one for her. A little later, I see the task that Ashley assigned to me. I chat Kylie to see if she's free to catch me up while I'm walking my dog. And when she says yes, I call her directly, right from chat. I see the call come through on my laptop and answer. As we're talking, I realize Ashley and everyone else could probably use the context from the previous project plan. So I do a quick search and then add it to our room for Thursday's meeting. Finally, back at my desk, I find the project plan doc in our shared files tab and add the finishing touches Ashley requested. I mark the task as done and tag at all to let the team know that we are good to go. Sure enough, when I open the doc, I see that the project plan looks ready for the meeting with Jacob on Thursday. And with this group using this Gmail, I feel ready too.